Hello! So today I'm going to show you the next in action. Uh, you notice that I'm using two monitors, an old CRT RGB and a HDMI. The next also supports VGA. And don't worry that image is a little bit fuzzy on RGB, it's because it, RGB's old CRTs are very hard to capture on camera. Uh, in, in, in the flash this is actually perfect. I, I prefer using RGB than HDMI because it's old feeling. The image is super solid over here when you are watching it in the flash. So the next is meant to be super easy to use, right? It boots right away into the command prompt. I can start uh, programming like uh, I know what I'm doing, right? Or I can just start browsing around and um, load my favorite game from my SD card, right? So suppose that I want to go to one of my old favorites, let's say Stunt Car Racer, and I want to load it right away. Uh, there you go, it's super fast and I'm already playing the game. I am H and uh, let's get going. And if you remember, this is the experience of uh, the next, right? But hey, there's so much more to it. Uh, let me show you a little bit more. Uh, you see, this is the, neck, the, the standard spectrum uh, experience right, at 3.5 MHz. But I can, even on runtime, start changing the next speed to 28 MHz, for instance. And all of a sudden the game is uh, super smooth to play. I wish I could have played it like that back in the day. But hey, the next is not just about the SD card. If you fancy loading games from tape, you can. But you can also load the same games as if they were from tape from the SD card. All I have to do is to start the tape emulation here and uh, off we go. So the next would actually start loading with all those wonderful noises that we all love and cherish. So I don't want to waste like 10 minutes loading this thing, but I'm going to show you something that uh, I find super interesting. Um, I would just turn the next to 28 megahertz, and I will try loading a freescape game like Driller. And uh, although not every game runs well on 28 megahertz, Stunt Car Racer and Driller are a few of those. Most games run well on 7 megahertz, actually better than the original speed, right? So let's put it on Campston here and start. So now you will see me playing Driller almost as... Well, I, I hope that this is the experience the developers back in the day hoped to have, right? But they couldn't achieve with the original hardware. But as you can see, it's a completely different experience running Driller at that kind of speed. But hey, the next is much more than just playing your old games. Let me show you some of the new stuff that it does. Uh, we added so many coprocessors and hardware to the next that it's quite a beast in itself, really. Uh, let me show you some typical demos that have been done with it. Uh, I love this one, which is so smooth. Uh, to achieve this parallax multi-layer uh, on the next is quite something that you wouldn't see on a Spectrum back in the day. You only see on the Amiga or Atari ST. Uh, but the next does that brilliantly. Um, there's also an interesting... Uh, everybody loves the multi-phase and all those NMI interruptions where you can do anything with the game that you love when you're playing it. And the next does that just as well. I can just press a button and all of a sudden can start poking, uh, changing screen, uh, take a screenshot. I can save the game state uh, into the SD card. So if I load them from tape and I want to preserve that, all I have to do is to do a snapshot back into the SD card and so on. So there is endless amount of tools and things that we have baked into the next for you to use and extend your experience. Um, let me show you some the, uh, games that were made just for the next, which are very close to my heart. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time was uh, Lords of the Midnight. Uh, and thankfully, there is a lovely new version of it for the next with uh, brand new graphics. So this is Lords of the Midnight on, in the next, made by Mike Singleton. Uh, and it's a brilliant, brilliant experience to be able to play the game like this. Uh, it, it brings you back to the time where you first saw this game and you were falling in love with all the scope and adventures in this universe. And all of a sudden now you can do that again because everything feels fresh and slightly new. Well, I, 
is uh, the 21st century and we have the internet and uh, the next also has Wi-Fi because why not so this is this is something that I could not believe that people did but they did uh, which is the ability of the next uh, to connect to teletext but not only only any teletext is actually the next teletext itself people actually created the next tell where you can go connect to your favorite server and then you are in a world that was made for and only for the next how cool is that but goes beyond saying that uh, this is a machine that made with a lot of love and passion but it all that passion is unmatched but what uh, the community itself has been creating uh, this for instance the next dawn uh, is a music editor made for the next and it's nice to use it because i can show that the next also support the ps2 mouse um, and let me load some cool tracks for us to listen to As you can see, the next also has a lot more audio channels than the original uh, Spectrum. So there you go. It's just a scraping the surface of what the next is capable of doing. There's so much into it that not even myself know what what everybody has packed. And every time you visit its community, there's a new game, a new application, a new way of using your next. Uh, which really brings you back to those times where there was so much for you to discover and play with that it felt it was literally infinite. So I hope you enjoy your next and have lots of fun with it. Thank you.